welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos. And today I have a very in-depth tutorial on how to create this double slit mini skirt. Now I said double slit, but you can definitely just do one slit if you want. You can just sew the seam like a normal seam or you could do no slits. This pattern is very versatile. I really wanted to create just a good basic skirt pattern for you guys. Now that fall is here, I love wearing little mini skirts with turtlenecks and tights. So I had to get this out for you guys. Here's the other skirt that you saw in the intro. These rhinestones are to die for. There is a sewing pattern available for this, so that will be the first link down below. And all the supplies and materials you need to create this project is also in that first link down below as well. You guys know I love to give my subscribers a discount for those of you who are watching this video the day it's uploaded. So if you would like 30% off this already very inexpensive pattern, you can use the code double slit until tomorrow at midnight. If you want to know what all the equipment and tools I'm using throughout this video, that is all in the listing description. But without further ado, let's just get into the tutorial. All right, so starting out, we are going to, of course, print our pattern make sure you print out at 100% scale I also like to print out on cardstock just because it's a little bit more durable it makes my patterns last for a really long time but that is not necessary and then just line up your pieces of paper using those lettered and numbered diamonds that you see make sure you're not overlapping your pieces of paper just line them up edge to edge and then tape them together. Make sure you pay attention to all of those pattern markings when you cut out your fabric. And then after you do that, you are ready to start sewing. So today, both me and my assistant are going to show you how to create this skirt. So the first thing we wanna do is pin up those back darts on the skirt and then sew them. When I sew my darts, I like to start at the end of the dart legs and then go all the way to the point. When I reach the point of the dart, I actually don't backstitch to finish it off. I get really close to the edge and sew off the dart and then tie a double knot with my hands to secure the thread. Now moving on to the front skirt, I want to serge all those edges of those slit seams individually. We gotta make sure to do this before we sew the slit, otherwise there will be some unwanted raw edges. Now we can go ahead and place those front skirt panels right side together and pin along those slit seams. I'm only going to pin and sew from the waistline all the way down to where the slit notch is. We want to leave below the slit notch unsewn so we can actually have a slit. <laughs> so I'm going to do a double slit skirt, so I'm going to do the same thing on either side of the skirt. If you only want to do one slit, then sew one slit and then sew the other seam like a normal seam. Now we can bring the front skirt over to the ironing board and press both of those seams open. Press the seam open all the way from the waistline all the way down to the hem, even where it's unsewn. Now where that seam is unsewn, where the slit is, you're going to fold the seam allowance under another quarter inch and then just press it really well. And this way your slit is going to be nice and clean once you sew it. Now we're going to sew the slit. So basically we're just going to sew all the way around the entire edge of the slit. So start at one open edge, sew all the way up to where the slit is no more, where the seam is connected. Then you're gonna to wanna to pivot your work, sew across, pivot again, and then sew all the way down the other edge of the slit. And if you're doing a double slit skirt, you're going to repeat that on the other side as well. Now we need to prep for the invisible zipper. So I'm choosing to sew my invisible zipper at the left side seam. So I'm just going to serge those edges individually beforehand. Now it's time to install the invisible zipper. So I'm just going to take my invisible zipper, unzip it and place it against the right side of the skirt. I'm going to pin it all the way from the waistline all the way down to where the zipper notch is. And I'm gonna do that on both sides of the skirt and zipper. Next, you wanna bring this over to your sewing machine and go ahead and sew it. I actually like to do a basting stitch first, just so I can make sure that everything is in the right place before I sew it with a more permanent stitch. So here's the seam basted. Everything seems to be looking nice. Zipper works. So we're ready to go ahead and sew it with a more permanent stitch. To do this, I'm just going to, of course, use my zipper foot, or if you have an invisible zipper foot, amazing. But no matter what foot you are using, you are just going to stitch that zipper in, stitching really close to the zipper teeth. Now I'm just gonna do one final check of the zipper, making sure the zipper works, making sure I sewed it correctly and everything looks really nice. Once I do that, I can go ahead and finish sewing that zipper seam. So just close up that zipper, fold the skirt so it's right sides together, and you are gonna sew from where you stopped sewing on the zipper all the way down to the hem. 
Just a normal seam, you're using a normal half inch seam allowance. Once you do that, if your zipper is a little long, you can go ahead and trim off the excess zipper. And now we are ready to sew the other side seam of the skirt, the one without the zipper. So this one is really easy. Just place the skirt right sides together, pin along that side seam and then sew that seam and then serge that seam. Now moving on to the facing. So first you wanna fuse your interfacing to the wrong side of your facing, the wrong side of your fabric. Make sure to use a press cloth or something between the interfacing and your iron so you do not get glue on your iron and ruin it, but just make sure you fuse it really well and make sure you do this for both the front facing and the back facing. Now we wanna sew the front and back facing together and this can be very, very confusing for some people. So I wanna break it down for you so that you have a foolproof way of figuring out which seam to sew. I'm gonna place the facing at the waistline of the skirt right sides together with the skirt because that's how it's gonna be sewn on. Find the side with the zipper. This side is going to remain unsewn with the facing. The side that is sewn on the skirt is the side that is gonna get sewn with the facing. So I'm just gonna pull out the skirt, pinch together this seam, and I'm going to sew that seam while it's fresh in my mind. I could just say sew the right side of the facing, but the right side looks like the left side because the facing is inside out, so it's just very confusing, so I like to do this method. Once you've sewn the seam, go ahead and press the seam, and then I'm going to serge around the bottom edge, the long wider edge of that facing. Now the facing is ready to be installed into the skirt. So just place the facing to the skirt at the waistline right sides together and pin along the entire waistline. We're going to sew the facing to the skirt at the sides with the zipper and also along the waistline. So I'm gonna start at the side with the zipper. I'm gonna use quarter inch seam allowance here. Once I get to the waistline, I'm going to pivot and sew with half inch seam allowance, our normal half inch seam allowance that we are using for the skirt. And then when we get to the other edge where the zipper is, I'm going to pivot again and use quarter inch seam allowance. Then I'm going to finish off the waistline seam only using my serger. Now we're going to understitch the facing. So to do this, we want the body of the skirt on the left, the facing on the right, and the seam allowance underneath pointed towards the facing. We are going to stitch about an eighth of an inch away from that waistline seam. We're stitching through the facing and catching the seam allowance on the back side of the skirt. This is called understitching and it just keeps the facing from rolling out on the skirt while you're wearing it. Now just give that waistline seam a good press. Now you just want to tack the facing to the side seam, the side seam where there is no zipper, and this is also further going to keep the facing from rolling out while you're wearing it. And then the very last step for the skirt is to hem the skirt. So we have one inch hem allowance in this skirt. Make sure you try it on before you hem it to see if you wanna shorten it even more. So I'm just gonna take this over to my iron and press it up a half inch twice to use that full one inch seam allowance. And then you just wanna sew that hem. And after you do that, you are done with your skirt. All right, so that is how you make this double slit mini skirt, which again can be a single slit mini skirt or no slit mini skirt. Let me know which of these two skirts you like better down below and let me know if you are going to use it and what fabric you envision making this in. Anyways, feel free to like this video if you learned something new because it is the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. And if you do make this skirt, definitely feel free to tag me in your Instagram photos because I love commenting and supporting you guys and reposting them on my story. But yeah, make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell turned on so that you don't miss out on patterns and discounts in the future. Oh, and then wait, one more question. What patterns do you guys wanna see from me in the future? Okay, now I think that's everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.